Okay, uh, I'm going to try to keep this nice and short for you guys. It's just uh, going to be a little update on programming this microcontroller. Again, this is the 2003 to 2004 uh, GM instrument clusters. You find these on some of the Trailblazers and stuff too. Uh, apparently some of the Trailblazer ones have a different part number on it, but it's, it's the same thing. Um, but back to what I'm trying to get at. Try to keep this nice and short. Uh, somebody emailed me this morning, his name was Michael, sent me an email saying, hey, if you uh, program it down to, if you, if you make it smaller sectors or sections that you're trying to program into, uh, it'll work. He suggested like 700 something bytes. Uh, I found like 832 or 836, something like that was the maximum you could do uh, before it started having errors. Uh, but... Uh, I also read the user manual to it and f to Minimon and found that it has two different program modes. You have program and then you have I program. The little button that you can press up top, that is the I program mode, which is an intelligent program. That one erases the section and then programs. And so, yeah, uh, that causes some problems. Uh, we'll get to it in just a moment. Um, and then program does not erase it, so when you go to program it, uh, so sometimes it won't write to the section, so you get that problem. Um, there are sections that you can't erase, uh, so I, I broke it down on mine to 512 byte sections just because that's easier to remember where you left off when you're doing stuff, because um, it's just even numbers. Um, I, I didn't get too far into it, but from going in 512 byte section, section 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, uh, I stopped at 12, I didn't go any further, um, would not let you erase them, they would only let you program them, don't know what, what's with that, is that area one time program, I don't think so, um, and at least they won't let you erase it if you keep it in the small 512 byte things that I was doing. So I'll try doing an erase of the whole thing later because I, I mean I, I haven't got it working yet. Um, but this one, that's other update on this. This one, the one that I that you're gonna see me work with in the video is uh, it's just new on there right there. That's because I uh, soldered on one of those new microcontrollers that Jeff sent over to. So this one's one with the blank microcontroller from China. It definitely powers up like you would expect it to, being blank. Like, it doesn't let out the magic smoke, but nothing happens because it's blank. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's... So, they, they work. I'm able to program to them. Uh, I've also tested it on the, I know for a factor, genuine chips that came on the, bo the other boards. Uh, it, it, it will program, but, oh, this is super painful. Like, it... it this isn't practical at all at the moment because you're 512 bytes out of um, 128 kilobytes. So you're going to do this, what, like 300 times programming it over and over again. Like, that's just <laughs> and, and you're about to see also that when you program it, you have to reset it every time. So that's what I'm talking about is you can't go past like that 800 byte write limit. Once you once you go past it, it, it crashes. I don't know what happens. And, and so... Even if you do 512 and you try to do another 512, you go past that, that 800, it quits working. But you could, you can do like 256 program and then program another 256 and, and you're fine. It's once you've programmed more than the um, uh, 800-something bytes, uh, it uh, crashes. I don't know. The, it's the microcontroller that crashes. It's not... Uh, Minimon. Minimon's fine. You just reset the the microcontroller, connect to it again, and it'll let you start programming again. So I don't know what's going on. I, is it the RAM that's getting full? How do I clear out the RAM? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, I'm, I, I'm over here guessing, but I, I tried using uh, the, the instruction... Um, the, the assembly instruction SRST, which is a software reset, uh, which should reset the microcontroller, but it doesn't reset it into um, BSL. It resets it into 
the user program even with it wired up for BSL so you you run that instruction it'll reboot but it'll reboot into the the program memory it won't reboot into bootstrap loader so it's really a pain in the ass because because infinity or not infinity um minimon has this cool feature that lets you do reuser scripts so it'd be really easy to write a user script to program the whole damn thing uh if there was a way to reset whatever's going on there i i I just I don't know what's going on there. I think I think the RAM's just full and it crashes, but I don't know because you when it when it does that you can't do any of the things that it has to add stuff to the RAM to do. Like um, you can't do a status check. A status check puts a driver into the RAM before it can do it, um, and you, you can't program it again. Um, but it will it will still respond to like a comparison thing, so it's not like hard crashed. So there's got to be like some sort of command to clear the memory, reset the memory. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I'm I, I don't program these things. I don't know assembly language. So, but I, I did find SRST in the user data for um, the chipset, and then I also found it in the uh, stu- the the user manual for. Minimon. But yeah, this is getting a little bit longer than I wanted it to. I really wanted this to be a really quick, short video. Just give you all a quick update of what's going on. So hopefully you guys like it. And uh, yeah. Let's... Okay, so I'm recording with the screen here just real quick. So that way you can see nothing's changed. Same wiring as last time. Same little jumpers and everything. So no changes to how it's physically set up. I just wanted you to be able to see that. Um, and yeah, let's just take a look in Minimon. I've, I've already been working in Minimon, as you can see. You see, I've done some some stuff here. I did a comparison because, oh my God, you run into these traps where if you erase in the wrong spot, it just starts erasing at the beginning. And I don't I don't know what to do about that. I, I don't know what's going on there. Um, so it, it's annoying. I've already programmed all of this area, and now it's now it's all wrong. So you, you can see from the comparison that like yeah, only the zeros were right. It erased the area. So let's uh, go ahead and. So, uh, I want to use hotkeys because I've been using hotkeys all day, but I want you all to see everything, so let's not use hotkeys. Alright, so, clear all selection. Uh, I need to power it up first. That'll help. So, let me turn on the thing. Alright, and we need to connect to it, so... Control T is also connect, but you just click that right there. Alright, so it's connected. Let's add selection, which is control R, add selection. Just go from 000 to 512 bytes. And we'll just use the P button because it works there. All right, and it successfully programmed it. And we can see that it successfully programmed it using the compare. And see, now it's all black. It's not red. Uh, and the red is you load your Intel, just like last time. Just load the Intel hex file, and then you can do that. So clear all selection. Now to program it, I have to reset it again. So I'm just going to do that to do the reset. Connect to it. Yep, reset the hardware. All right. Add selection. And we're just going to go to 200 and 512 more. And there we go. P program it works um, so yeah I broke it down into uh, uh, the 512 byte section so for being able to do this so let me just go in configuration just real quick and show this uh, and so yeah broke it down I've, I've only got like that far into it uh, from sector section sorry it's called sections here section 6 to I don't know how far I stopped at 12 because I at, once I got to 12 I went and backlog to see if it was affecting anything uh from sector or section six to 12 if you start erasing in there it seems to uh erase the beginning that seems to be why i had to come back to this area not sure what's going on there this is painfully slow and it's super super frustrating going back and redoing sectors again and like some sections have to be erased or else uh, they won't program if there's something in there already this is this is one of the blank microcontrollers that's why i wrote new up top here i put a new micro controller on here it's one of the blank ones from china that jeff sent me i'm one of jeff's boards here and i just want to get this blank one working so that way i can be like oh there we go it works and prove that these blank microcontrollers are real i mean i can program them and by the way uh, I've tested this on a genuine one too. It does program just the same. 
same kind of pitfalls and traps in there going on. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this makes sense. I'm trying to keep this video nice and short and not 40 minutes. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here, but y'all get the gist of it. It works, but it doesn't work. It's not practical. Uh, if you read the user manual, you can actually type commands in here. So let me like reset it and do, you know, connect. Okay, so there you go. You use the connect command and the other one, let's go into one of those sectors that can't uh, be done with that. Let's, uh, well, there's the other stuff that's blank. Let's do it. All uh, right. Just show y'all that that's a thing too. So add selection, uh, all right. Four plus five and 12. All right. So the other one you can do here is underscore uh, program which is different than the uh, P button program. Um, this one is just going to program. It doesn't try to erase. So you use this in those sectors that if you start erasing, it messes stuff up. Uh, but you can't use program everywhere because then it doesn't erase, you know, junk. Uh, and the other thing I ran into is these long wires, kind of inappropriate for what we're doing here, uh, especially since they're not twisted pair. So I get some faulty bits occasionally and then you have to go back and erase it because you got one bit wrong in there when you did your comparison but yeah i'll show you that this worked all right um so let's just uh compare this target compare selection and see there we go zero bytes different so it works so you can program or you can do the i program so let me just do this all right Clear all selection. I gotta reset it again. Gotta reset it after each time you program it, or else it runs out of memory and crashes. I think it's running out of memory. I don't know what's going on. If you try to program it twice, uh, it just crashes and doesn't respond. It, it's the microcontroller that's not responding. Uh, and many models still work. You, you just do this and reset it again, and it continues to work. Uh, so it's not the software on the computer, it's the, the hardware doing that. All right, so add selection i'm just gonna use the hotkey control r and six and 512 and i believe the other command is i program yep i program so the which is the same thing as the p button where it erases the sector and then writes to the sector i forgot to reconnect to it though so Control T, connect, Control R, all right, and now I program. Now it should be able to do it. Yep, there we go, and it worked. Uh, so just out of curiosity, let's see if we screwed up any of the beginning of this. So let's just go Control R and 0, 0, 0, and compare. Because my other theory was that this is also compare right here. All right. Cool, no differences. My other theory was that if you accidentally do an erase before resetting it, it may be what was causing it. So yeah, it's definitely, if you try to erase in those sectors that you can't, or sections that you can't erase in, it goes back and erases the fucking beginning of this thing, which is super annoying. And I don't know what all sections I can't erase in yet. I haven't figured that out. So uh, yeah, I have more testing to do on this, but I don't know, I really am not motivated to do it right now. Uh, this is this project's becoming super disheartening, especially because I don't know a way to, in the software, reset the damn thing. Because, yeah, S re uh, at So this, let me do the software reset here. Uh, underscore S R S T. Uh, that just puts it in, see, user program running. It does, it, it did reset it and it tried to boot, but obviously since it doesn't have all of the flash on there, it doesn't work. So yeah, hopefully you guys like the video. I really try to keep this short, get a lot of information in here. Uh, if you have any more suggestions, leave them down in the comments, email me. My email address shows in my last video in that 40 minute one, watch the whole thing. You'll find my email in there. Uh, or you can find my email in the about section. Uh, so I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you in the next one.